brewing in Rocky Mountainite, about a halfway house. Some say it is too close to the downtown Rocky Mount Event Center. It's just about a block away. The city tells us multiple sex offenders are living at the nonprofit run home. WRL's Keenan Willard heard from people who want to move, who want that home to move, as well as the organizers who stand by the location. Rocky Mount's downtown event center is at the heart of the city's efforts to boost tourism, drawing hundreds of visitors for weekend shows and competitions. But some in the community have concerns about a nearby home. We found out that this property uh, was housing uh, well-known sex, sex offenders. Activist Tarek Pittman recently learned about the home on Atlantic Avenue. It's a halfway house for people with felonies on parole, including registered sex offenders. The home is close enough to be seen from the parking lot of the event center. For Pittman, that's a problem. Well, you know, you have a lot of young people coming to the event center. Uh, you have a lot of young kids that are participating in sporting events. We don't want that type of um, uh, house close to the event center here in Rocky Mount. We took those concerns to the city of Rocky Mount. A spokesperson says six sex offenders currently live at the property, and it's run by a nonprofit called Loving Light Community Outreach. The city says the house doesn't violate any zoning laws, and there haven't been any serious crimes reported there in the past six months. WREL knocked on the home's door, meeting Dennis Stevenson, who runs it. He rejects the idea that the home should be moved. The event center came after this home was here. This home was here 10 to 15 years prior to the event center. Stevenson says everyone living at the home works a full time job and has a 7 p.m. curfew with security cameras and staff on site 24 hours a day. They ban from being by school 700 and some feet. You can't live over here by daycare 700 and some feet. You can't stay in the projects because you got a felony. So my question to legislators and the world, where do you want them to go? They are human. Keenan Willard, WRL News, Rocky Mount. And the man running the home says he believes he's providing an essential service for Rocky Mount. He would invite anyone with concerns to come and have a conversation about the home and its role.